Well, good morning everyone. It is The Wanderer here for the final part of Christmas dinners, pub Christmas dinners, supermarket Christmas dinners, whatever you want to call them. No, this is not the start of some dodgy looking horror movie or... <laughs> this is no... I'm keeping that in. This is not the start of some dodgy looking horror movie or dodgy looking other movies. I, that genuinely... Anyway, anyway guys. We did Christmas dinners at Morrison's, which I thought was fantastic value. We did the Christmas dinner at Weatherspoons, which, when you think about it, was also fantastic value. I never like to think of drink deals, so 11 99 minus the Leffy, £4.5, Christmas dinner, 7 94 I think my maths is good there. Today, we're in Charville. I think I've held that off long enough. We're in Charville, just by Sonning. We're off to a hungry horse today, and I've been told, well, I had this one in my mind for a while, but a comment in the last video actually also said, just like I was thinking, I've got to get myself down to the wee wave. So it's a hungry horse branch, looks really nice on the outside, it's very nearby. Just going to get some nice little shots of Charville. I've kept this intro going long enough, got a <laughs> my heart's racing. I thought, I thought I'm somewhere where I'm not supposed to be. Please don't tell me I'm not somewhere anyway. <sighs> If you do like these kind of videos, guys, don't forget, of course, to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas, because this is probably going to be the last vlog before the 25th. Uh, thank you all so much for the support over the last year. It's really meant the world. But I'm the Wanderer. I've got one more Christmas dinner left in me. So, let's make a move. Oh, Jesus. So I'm in, I'm seated. I found a nice little spot in the corner. I'm on table one. Originally I did find a nice little booth, but there was a, a group in front of me who was making way too much noise and uh, playing some possible copyrighted music. So I thought, uh, I'm just gonna go find somewhere quieter. Thankfully I have. So we've gone for the traditional Christmas dinner. I will tell you what that um, consists of very shortly. But my choice of drink today, I thought I'm gonna make it a little bit festive. They do have a festive drinks menu and I've gone for the Sleigh Bell Spritz, which is uh, a mix of strawberry sours, cranberry juice, and Schweppes lemonade, £4.99. I just thought, you know what, this is the last Christmas dinner on the channel for the time being, for at least a year, so I thought I would go for a cocktail. Why not? They're also available in pitchers for £9.99, but I'll tell you if it's worth it after I've had the first sip. Have a look at this festive drink menu, by the way. Of 
course, I always do go to my local hungry horse after work every Sunday, so I am kind of familiar with this Christmas menu, but I haven't tried any of it yet. I wanted my first time to be here, but I've already done a review of the Victoria Cross, so I thought I'd try the Wee Wave. First impressions, really nice, actually, really nice, big, nice beer garden. I was tempted to sit outside again, but I thought I'll stay indoors this time. They do have a nice menu, to be fair, but the meal doesn't consist of any drink deal, so it is going to be the most expensive of the Christmas dinners at 11 99 and uh, a drink at 4 99 so this one is on the pricier of the three. Oh, here we are now actually oh bless you thank you very much cheers speak of the drink and it shall appear so um here we go uh, let's try the old sleigh bell spritz oh yeah that's dangerous that <laughs> um this will be the only one of the day i will have to reiterate that this is the only one of the day but um, this is the kind of one that if you have one of you could easily end up having two three four five eight fifteen um, yeah that's dangerous but in a really good way Okay then guys, so while having a little look around, and once again, I must I must say once again, this is a really nice looking place. I would actually say it probably looks a little bit better than the Victoria Cross. But my turkey Christmas dinner has arrived, so let's get your eyes on it, tell us what you think. say guys the first impressions really really nice um, we have a Christmas dinner with gravy already slapped on but if I wanted more gravy here's some extra gravy and you know what I'm gonna put a little bit in the Yorkshire there a little bit on the bloopy side now there are a couple of omissions has to be said yes we do have a Yorkshire pudding this week we do have roasties this time but I don't see any parsnips, unfortunately. Um, cranberry sauce looks really nice, really thin, actually, so that look, looks pretty good. You right there? It's, it's looking very good, my lovely. Uh, Do you need anything else? Uh, no, no, I'm good, thank you. Thank Cheers. You. All the best, thank you. Yeah, like I say, cranberry sauce looks a little bit on the um, thinner side. doesn't have too many of the lumps that the Weatherspoons one did. So let's, let's go into the... Oh, there is, there is a couple in there, actually. Let's have a look at this first, then. That's gorgeous. I've actually discovered this year, I think I'm actually a fan of cranberry sauce now. Never used to be. Very strange. Start off with some cauliflower. Not bad. Nice flavour. No crunch in there, unfortunately. I was hoping for some crunch in my vegetables. Maybe I'll get them in the maybe I'll get them in the carrots. Oh, there's no peas. There's no peas on this one. Okay, let's go into a carrot. That is not a crunchy carrot, but there we go. Tell a lie. Small amount of crunch in there, perfect. Retained it, retained a nice flavour, wasn't too watery. Really nice actually, decent carrot. Probably would have preferred a little bit more crunch, but that's that's just me. It's a it's a me thing. Try and grab a dry one. Brussels sprout, that was missing in weather spoons. I have a friend actually who um, who watches the vlogs and she absolutely hates Brussels sprouts. She even hates the words being mentioned, so just for you, there's a nice close look look. Yeah, uh, Brussels sprout for you. <laughs> you know I'm messing. You know I'm messing. It's really nice, actually. Really nice. Didn't have the usual sort of flavour. Just tasted like a, I would say, Brussels sprout light. Didn't really have that massive punch. If you're not a fan of Brussels sprouts, I think that's the kind that you would start with, maybe. Roast potato. Missing in Weber Spoons. Here we are now. Oh, yeah. Really nice. 
nice, just perfect amount of crunch on the outside. Really soft, fluffy on the inside. I think that was done to perfection. Roast potatoes, I don't mind having a little bit of crunch on the outside. I prefer my vegetables to be crunchier than my potatoes. As weird as that sounds, but that, that roasty was spot on. Pig and Blanket, the largest of the three. Got high hopes for this one. Now the sausage itself, absolutely bursting with flavour. I didn't really pick up any of the hint of the bacon, has to be said. It was very thin. Bacon didn't have too much flavour, if any. The sausage did overpower it, so maybe it was there, but... We've got three more articles left. Let's go into a Yorkshire pudding. Ooh. Okay. okay, Yorkshire pudding. Looks really good, actually. Soft all round. Soft all round, really nice. That is, for me, perfect Yorkshire puddings. There's a little bit of crunch on this side, as you can see. But the bit that I had was nice. Let's get a bit of that crunchy bit, actually. Not too bad. Preferred the other side where it was softer. Just having to make sure here, guys, that there's there is no more stuffing. This is literally the only bit of stuffing on the plate. That was the only bit of stuffing on the whole plate. Let's hope it's the best thing on the plate. Here we go. Mm. Of the three I've done, probably the least impressed. Didn't really have that punch for me, it's like quite too chewy for my liking, a bit too chewy, not a lot of flavour there. I think of the three stuffing balls, I think least favourite. Okay, got some turkey next, I have to say, good looking, good looking slice size, got a couple slices there, really nice and thick. Yeah, not bad actually, not bad. I think, again though, I just want to say, flavour wise, it's not hitting me like Weatherspoons did. It was thicker, for sure. I tried to get the driest piece just so I could try it on its own. And it wasn't really, mm, blowing me away. I'll finish it off, review it outside, guys, and I'll let you know what I think. Well then guys, so we have just come out of the Wee Wave and of course tried the Christmas turkey lunch. What is there to say about that one? I have to say guys, um, although a lot of the things on that plate, yes I did describe as pretty good, I do find myself leaving slightly underwhelmed. First of all we will talk mega positives, I think the staff in there were absolutely fantastic, the building itself, the decor really lovely um, I think I mentioned it in there as well that it does look a little bit better than the Victoria Cross and I do rate how the Victoria Cross looks on the inside um, so those are the positives now let's talk about the food now again there were positives on there too the carrots on there were crunchy as I liked probably a little bit more crunchy but they were good the sausage on the pig in blanket was packed with flavour, uh, but I didn't manage to taste any of the bacon at all, so I thought, okay, that's a bit weird. Um, there was bacon on there, it was just like the thinnest piece. No parsnips on there, no peas. I would have easily replaced the cauliflower with the peas, but the cauliflower wasn't terrible. The Yorkshire pudding, I have to say, was probably the star of the show in that one, the Yorkshire pudding. At first, I'm tapping the side of it, I'm thinking, that's rock hard. 
but one half of it was just absolutely perfect. Where it was in the gravy, it was soft, it was beautiful. Like, honestly, probably the best of the three. Oh, no, I have to say the best of the two. Weatherspoons didn't have a Yorkshire pudding. Um, it was the best one. It was really, really good. But I think we need to talk about a lot of the negatives as well. Bearing in mind that was 11 99 the most expensive of the three. Didn't even include like a drink with a deal like the Weatherspoons one did. Uh, the turkey for me just tasted too dry. Like even the, and, and turkey I know is meant to be dry, but I've had a Morrison's one, I've had a Weatherspoons one, now I've had a Hungry Horse one. And I have to say there was just nothing in there. Even the turkey that was smothered in gravy, once you got into it and you're like, the only thing I could just taste was gravy. The other, the other two did have flavor, which was nice. The stuffing, which is usually my favorite bit of the Christmas dinner, was the most minuscule bit of stuffing that I've <laughs> that I've ever seen in my life. Literally, what I had on my fork was the only stuffing that that came with. There was none hiding anywhere else. There were no parsnips either. So kind of, you know, you had your dry turkey, you had your smallest stuffing ball. Bacon had no flavor on the pig and blanket. Uh, overall, guys, yes, some of the things on there were really nice. I did like the vegetables and everything, but the main attractions, oh, and the roast potatoes. I will give high, high praise to the roast potatoes. I really did enjoy them. But overall, I'm thinking to myself, what's the best of the three? You had your Morrisons, you had your Spoons, and now you've got your Hungry Horse. And I'm thinking my Hungry Horse is third uh, out of the three. And in terms of value, I mentioned it last time, you have to kind of give it to the Morrisons one. So yeah, I'm, I think quite disappointed and underwhelmed would be the word I think it tasted okay didn't justify the price for me um, probably would have been charging $7.99 if that was if that was me but yeah I don't like to leave here on a bad note guys I mean the bits that I liked I did like but for what I paid for I was expecting to be blown away and like I say I just feel a little bit underwhelmed with that one and it is a shame it is a shame because that is the last of the three that we're doing that is how we're ending this so i don't want to end it on a downer i'll end it on a plus thank you so much guys for the support in the year it has been absolutely amazing especially the last couple months the subscribers they're jumping like crazy i'm wondering if we can get to a thousand before i go to japan those videos are going to be incredibly exciting i just can't wait to get toshko back on here as well that would be wonderful to my friend who I mentioned in there who hates the Brussels sprouts, she knows I'm messing. She's a personal friend. I see her. I'm going to see her the day after this uh, video gets uploaded, and, and no doubt I'm in for a telling off. I can't wait for that. But if you do like this video, guys, don't forget, of course, to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Click the bell to be notified when I upload more stuff. I wish you all the best of Christmases. And uh, until next time, guys, I'm The Wanderer. Bye for now.